My name is Anna, and I'm glad to be here with you today uh, and to try to give you uh, another view of French funding for virtual reality projects. So, I don't know if a lot of you uh, have some knowledge about or uh, ever heard about the CNC. Uh, basically, we can say that for 70 years from now, the CNC has been managing the funding from French state to the film and audiovisual industries. So the CNC also oversees sources and funding for the film industry that rely on tax credits. Uh, I will let you appreciate a corporate short film. I'm sorry about that but it will resume a little bit our main purpose and our main mission. So enjoy. C'est l'histoire d'un homme qui tombe d'un immeuble de 50 étages. Le mec, au fur et à mesure de sa chute, il se répète sans cesse pour se rassurer. Jusqu'ici, tout va bien. So that's it. Uh, and for 10 years now, uh, we have been developing specific aid to support digital changes. I'm in charge of the New Media Fund, dedicated to new forms of storytelling. This fund is part of a digital uh, creation department in which we support digital arts, video games, and transmedia project, we can say that these uh, three fields are highly affected by VR. And like most of people, discovering VR was shocking for our industry. For many years, we were working on interaction, audience, audience engagement, immersion, and suddenly, there arrived the technology that could embrace all those concerns. So I'm sure that in some way VR was a kind of a evidence for digital creators we were working with. VR immediately emerged as the opportunity to involve 
new creative, new creative profiles, including feature filmmakers, who are highly interested in this new language. So this is a quote of Céline Siama, a filmmaker, a French uh, filmmaker, who was also our president uh, for the last uh, new, uh, new Media Fund, president of the community. And at the contrary of what we could think, fear is far from being the first word that comes to mind. And as we all know, immersive experiences are not new, but we've got now a technology fitting with a high 3D film quality and so on. And that's why the CNC invested from now more than 3 million euros in different types of projects, mostly creative projects, films or video games, but also technological ones like techno solutions, as software or distribution platforms, or equipment and technology like 3D, 360 camera, or stuff like that. And as I said, uh, we super different fields, such video games, digital arts, and films, and films over dominate VR contents. So this is the, the fund that I'm in charge of, the New Media Fund. And since, so since uh, 2015, we support like all stages, concept development and production for VR content. And we gave more than 2.5 million euros. In the New Media Fund, we seek strong projects with a high editorial strategy to handle this emerging technology. So on which crit criteria we selected this project? Here is a selection of, we, of VR project we invested in. So the first criteria is that we really need a filmmaker approach. The first one you can see, the project is uh, iPhilip, uh, is a perfect example for that. I'm sure that most of you all have already seen, watched this movie. If not, I really, uh, I can just like invite you to go and have a sight of this really interesting VR movie. So the second criteria is the original vision. So uh, specifically for documentary film, we want a strong point of view. So. For instance, this project, The Enemy, used VR as an empathy machine. But I will show you the trailer of this project that will speak for itself. Well. Get too close to really The enemy was born out of my frustration as a photojournalist and war correspondent. For almost 20 years, I have photographed conflicts and witnessed the consequences of huge geopolitical shifts. When I became a father, I simply knew I could not keep working on the front lines. Yet, I was not done trying to understand wars. Oh, me na ba uwa kaju na bo bana niwa. My friends in Israel, when they know I'm heading for Gaza can't help themselves but to wish me luck and to stay safe. They believe a lot of people in Gaza are irrational. Also, when I spend weeks working in Gaza and I'm about to return to Israel, my Palestinian friends are telling me the exact same thing. Be careful there.
The project is rooted in my experience as a war photographer, going from one side of the front line to the other and finding that the fighters' dreams, hopes, and nightmares are often more similar than they are different. So there is a bigger story than the war itself, and this is the one I want to explore and share. For the enemy, I am using the latest technologies in virtual and augmented realities, so you can engage directly with the combatants and meet them, hear them, and feel them the way I did. In many parts of our world, you create an enemy as a kid without having met your enemy, because the society around you has created an enemy in the other. So the question is, could I be you if I was on the other side? Yeah, uh, this, this project will be released in one month. So if you get lucky, it will release also in Canada, so in French, but also in Canada for three months in the uh, free uh, cultural center. Uh, and the last one, the last criteria is digital design. So this project, Not Some Blindness, um, it's also a great example. I don't know if you ever heard about it, but also if you get a chance to watch it, like, don't lose it. VR is also a perfect place for crossbreeding. Uh, here are examples of different projects we supported in different creative fields. Uh, like literature, game design, exper experimental, art, and theater. I don't have time to show you trailer or teaser, but you can take pictures. And to conclude, here are some clues about a mechanism you can be interested in, because it targets, it targets uh, international production, non-French productions, the opposite of what I just spoke about. The production service company can have tax break equal to 30% of the total spending in France. For further details, you can, you can be in touch with the Film France, so you've got the, uh, the web uh, address just on the, uh, on the slide, and you can so get in touch with Film France, who can advise you how to work with France. And finally, uh, if you want to be in touch with uh, some French VR professionals, there is UniVR, so it's a French VR organization uh, with a large range of companies and individuals. But maybe Antoine, Carol, just here from Okio, will tell you a little bit, little bit more about it uh, right after me. So thank you so much, and thank you for the festival. For Thank you.